Hello guys, Robot one here, coming at you with a new video talking about the new Rush Duels. Now, we've, current, we've got the information for Rush Duels, basically how the gameplay works, and um, just the rules in general of the game. And I kind of wanted to make a video on this thing, as Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of going into that bit where um, we're getting a lot more game types, like... Thing is, now we've got Speed Duel, Duel Links, and Standard Yu-Gi-Oh! format, while also there's, like, Traditional, and other places are holding, like, um, GOAT tournaments and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of new formats coming out in Yu-Gi-Oh!, similar to Magic the Gathering, where they have Commander, Standard, Modern, Pauper, um, they have a new one, but the name escapes me, and I kind of wanted to talk about Rush Duel, look at the rules, and, like, discuss it a bit, because it's kind of interesting to see that Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of going into this point where they're trying to implement different games into their main game, because it means that Yu-Gi-Oh! is trying to expand its horizons a bit, outside of, like, the standard normal Yu-Gi-Oh! seeing as, like, other formats in Yu-Gi-Oh! are actually a lot more fun right now than the most competitive standard, which is May which is, uh, which is stand standard Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, things like speed duels, goat format, even though Konami don't really do goat format, um, traditional format, which Konami have done and was actually really fun with like the pot of greed, um, being the giant card like Nets uh, two years ago, and they're even doing MR5 formats uh, at the YCS Las Vegas, I believe as well. So it's like they're trying to they're trying to give more, us more side events and more different gameplay aspects, which I really like. And I kind of wanted to look at this, which is purely for for the OCG. Um, this is only going to be in the OCG for right now, and then it might come over to the DCG as well. Um, but so anyway, I'm rambling on now, so let's go ahead and get into Rush Duel and kind of look at the rules in general. So, so the basic rules of Rush Duels are. Um, your deck size is between 40 and 60 cards. So it's just like basic Yu-Gi-Oh! in the fact that you have um, a normal deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. You have to have 40, 60, different from Speed Duels, where you have anywhere from 20 to 30 cards. Um, your starting hand is four cards, which is similar to Speed Duels, um, where you start off with four cards as well. Um, well, you start, yeah, you start off with four, and then you, if you go to second, you draw five. Um, and then your life points is 8k, just like standard Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so that's, that's kind of cool, because of this, like, um, it's basic Yu-Gi-Oh! mixed in with, not, with like, dueling, speed duel in a way, which is kind of cool. Um, the field is basically the same as, uh, speed duels, um, where you have your deck, your graveyard, your field spell zone, extra deck, and then spell and trap card zones. Um, literally says it here, uh, monster zones, where you put your monsters, spell and trap cards, where you put your spell traps, deck zone, graveyard, field spell, and extra deck zone. Um, where you put special summon cards, specials cards face down. Um, so basically the same as normal Yu-Gi-Oh in that aspect, uh, well, the same as speed duels in that aspect, where you have free, free. It's pretty interesting. Um, now, this is the traits of Rush. So you will be drawing a lot of cards because during your draw phase, you draw in, you draw until you have five cards in your hand. So... Pretty much, this is an aspect similar to, um, ve very similar to Keyforge, where if you've, at the end of your turn, if you've used, say, like, your entire hand, you'll draw until you have, like, I believe it's six cards in your hand, or it might be five as well. Um, it's interesting in that fact that you have the aspect of just being able to draw tons of cards out of your deck instantly to be able to do what Rush Duel does. Um, also, the player with the first turn draws as well, so it's basically the same as old Yu-Gi-Oh! in, like, Master Rule 2, um, where, oh, I believe it was Master Rule yeah, Master Rule 2, where you were guaranteed to draw a card on your first turn. So, that's a new aspect as well. Uh, and also, if you have more than five cards in, uh, also, if you have, if your hand size is five or more, you will st still draw one, um, which is nice, because it means that you're always guaranteed to draw one card on your turn, but if you have less than five, then you'll just draw until you have five cards, which is actually really interesting, which is actually really cool because it gives the other play the pl players a chance to come back into the game, which I find to be really cool. Um, and also, there is no hand limit um, in this game. So if you want, if you're over seven cards, unlike in Yu-Gi-Oh, um, you don't you don't have to discard, um, which is actually nice. And there's also continuous summoning in this game. So. You can normal summon to set monsters from your hand as many times as you want per turn. So if you have five monsters in your hand, you can literally normal summon two normal monsters, tribute the, tribute the two normal monsters, normal summon and normal summon two more normal monsters. So it seems like this deck game is going to be very based around heavy summoning. 
um, to basically bring out your big monsters as soon as possible. And that kind of filters into why you need to be drawing like five cards on your on your turn. Because like you get rid of your entire hand, you make a board, um, and then you go to the next person opponent's turn. If they break your board, then you have nothing to play. And that's why it's like, oh, I have nothing left, so I can just draw five cards and then attempt pr proceed to then break their board. It also kind of factors in why life points is 8k. Because of it being so fast, being rush duels, being able to summon as many times as you want, um, you can actually just get, you can't just die in one turn in like this format. Unless you, your opponent is able to summon like two 4k monsters, then it's just like, your opponent's not going to be able to do that, which is really cool. And um, the regarding effects in speed duels, uh, the effects of face-up monsters on the field can only be used, can only use its effect once per turn while it remains face-up. So. Um, I believe this is saying that if you set the monster and reflip the monster, um, you can then use its effect again. And that's basically the same as normal, like, once per turn, uh, not hard once per turn effects, soft once per turn effects, which is not a judge term, I know, but it's just, like, it's an easy way to explain it. It's, like, an, it's an effect that doesn't state the name of the card. Um, which is cool because it, like we have, they might implement it later on in the game, but right now they don't. And we also have um the ace monster for uh, I believe it's Yuga, yeah Yuga, uh, Yuga's ace monster, and it is a sevens road magician, and it's a level seven spellcaster effect monster, twenty one hundred, uh, fifteen hundred defense. Um, its requirement to activate its effect is you have to send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, and then this card gains three hundred attack for each different attribute amongst monsters in your graveyard. So. This is going to take two monsters to summon to start off with, so you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to be needing to tribute summon. And if your two monsters that you're in the graveyard are two different attributes, this, comes, this turns into a 2700 attack point monster. So, like, speed duels, sorry, rush duels overall, um, it looks like a very interesting format, a format that I kind of want to kind of partake in. Um, if, like, they add this onto, like, a dueling book or something, I might actually go on it, make a deck, try to have fun with it, because it seems like Rush Duels is actually a really fun-looking format. I'm sad that we're not going to have it in the TCG, because it seems a lot better than um, in Speed Duels and Duel Links to me, um, just because it looks like it's a lot more fast-paced, it has a lot more interesting aspects to it, um, like just being able to draw as many cards as you want on your tool, draw five cards on your turn, um, and even if you have more than five, you still draw one. Um, the ability to just summon a continuous amount of times, like your opponent breaks your board, then you break your board, then you break their board, just continuous back and forth gameplay, which could be really cool. Um, and just having like them saying that, um, like most effects seem to be like they won't be hard once per turn effects. It's just it's kind of it's interesting to me, and I really do want to kind of try this format and see how I can get along with it. But guys, this is Rush Duel. Tell me what your personal thoughts of this in the comment section below are. Tell me if you think it's cool, tell me if you think it's don't. If it's not, I really would love to hear your thoughts and things because this actually looks like a lot of fun and really cool to play. Um, so I hope you guys will take a look at it and hopefully you can get some gameplay yourself. Maybe proxy cards are from the OCG, bring them over to the, and then play it on the table. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Twitch I'll be streaming tonight. Um, I'll be streaming just normal Yu-Gi-Oh tonight. Uh, Monday, Mondays is Yu-Gi-Oh. Tuesdays is get any a uh, video game, and then Thursdays will be uh, Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Um, I'm debating if I want to do casual Mondays or casual Thursdays, and then meta Mondays or meta Thursdays. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna try kind of try kind of do that or just try to do my own thing with it. Um, but yeah, Tuesdays will always be video games if you're interested in watching me play a video game and maybe sucking or doing really well. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Twitch, and I will see you guys in the next one. Rush dolls look cool. Can't wait to see if we get them in the TCG at some point.